She owns the oceans. She is a titan of the sea. The first thing that strikes you when you see the Q-Max tanker is its sheer size. This is the largest liquefied natural gas tanker in the world. It has an overall length of 345 meters, and that is bigger than the Eiffel Tower. Our journey started at the control tower on land. The operators here command a panoramic view of everything around them on the sea. Give us a sense of this room and what everybody is doing here with all the information that we're seeing on the screens. We are very much located in the tower traffic control where the people are always operating around the clock, seven days a week without a stop, ensuring there is a precise movement in and out. The teams in here monitor the direction, location, and loading status of each LNG vessel. Safety is the number one priority. Okay, I see the visibility is quite low today. And buckle. After a safety briefing, we make our way to the shore and head toward the QMAX. These super tankers are key to Qatar's economy. The country is reliant on these ships to safely deliver its product to the world. LNG has been hailed as an alternative to oil and coal, given its lower carbon emission. Qatar is the largest exporter of LNG. Its market share is about to grow further as it cuts its production costs even lower and ramps up supply through its expansion of the Northfield project. Demand for LNG in China is skyrocketing, forecast to nearly double by 2040. It's tough to deliver LNG safely. Captains have to navigate bad weather, sea piracy, sea traffic, and rough water. When you're on the QMAX and you're traveling on different routes, what are some of the most challenging routes? The most challenging route that where you find the, the, the route is very narrow, such as uh, the Malacca Street in between Malaysia and Singapore, where is uh, the weather in China Sea, uh, near Japan, the typhoon, sometime in part of the year. The safety of the cargo on board is vital. Do you see the QMAX as really continuing to build the future of the economy of Qatar? Of course, the future of Qatar will be built by the exporting of the LNG. But there's looming competition like Russia's Yamal LNG project and the planned northern sea route that may change Qatar's dominance with shorter sailing times and LNG destined to Asia too. The bigger challenge is the climate crisis, which is forcing the world to push for a faster transition to green energy, solar, wind, hydro. Qatar and its supertankers are steering into challenging headwinds. Port 20 LNG is now being increasingly viewed as a bridge that buys time for the world to move from fossil fuels to renewable energy. But until that time arrives, these majestic vessels with their sophisticated technology will continue to rule the waves. <laughs>